So in this video, I'm going to show you how to place three images next to each other with the text underneath each image. So let's get started. So right here, I'm on VS Code and I have already created this HTML file. So let me add this HTML code here and uh, I'm going to add the title side by side. Okay, so now I'm going inside of the body tag. So inside of the body tag, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three divs and each div is going to have the same class name. So I'm going to say this on sign div class image dash text. All right, so it will include image and the text. So I'm going to keep this here and I'm going to copy and paste this three times because I ha have three images. Now inside of this div, what we are going to do is we are going to place our image with our paragraph. So I'm going to say image, so let's inside image source, and I have an image called donut1.jpg, all right? And let's add a, an alt here, donut1. Okay, so that's it for that one. And I'm going to add a paragraph below it that says donut1. All right, so I'm going to copy this image and paste it in the other divs. So I'm going to copy this image and the paragraph, and I'm going to paste it here and here. So here you can change the image source to a different image. So I'll change it to image two, and this will be image three. So, so alt, this will be donut two, and I'll change the paragraph as well. So I'm changing the source of the image to the third one. All right, this is the third one. So uh, let me just uh, fix this code a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, so you see inside of the body tag, we have three divs. And each div has an image and a paragraph. Now, right up here, what we are going to do is we are going to wrap everything. So we are going to put all of this code inside of another div. So I'm going to add a div here and I'm going to give it a class name of container. So this will contain all of our images and the text. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. So I'm going to cut it actually. And I'm going to paste it inside of this div, all right? So you see, this is the div that we have just made. And we are going to paste it here. So paste it. And I have my code inside of that container. So now let's go to head. So this is the head. We are going to use style to use CSS. So right here, what we are going to do is we are going to add our CSS. But if you have an external sheet and if you attach an external sheet, it's going to do the same thing. So don't worry about this tag. All right. So now we are going to set the width of the container to 100%. So container. And I'm going to say width 100%. And right below it, what we are going to do is we are going to select the divs that contain our images. So you see we have three divs and they all have this same class name which Im image dash text. So I'm going to copy that class name and I'm going to say dot because it's a class name image text and open to curly braces. So right here we are going to set the width to 30 percent. So width colon 30%. So it's going to be 30% of this container. We are going to float our images to the left. So we're going to say float left. 
and we want the text to be centered of the paragraph. So I'm going to say text dash align center. And to set the text under each image, we're going to say margin colon zero space 1.5 percent and add a semicolon to the end we are done with this as you know they are next to each other but it's not looking good yet so we will style it select that class name again but we are going to only select the images so i'm going to copy this selector and paste it here and put a space image to select all of the images and right here what we are going to do is we are going to set the width to 100 percent as you notice your images will sit next to each other so now we can add a height of 200 pixels for example or 300 pixels so you see uh, let me choose 100 100 1000 no 1000 120 pixels and you see now my images are nicely placed all right so i can change the width to something else instead of 100 percent i can say 120 pixels for example so you see now my images are 120 pixels but if you see as you see as i shrink it at some point at some point i want this to become a column so to do that what we are going to do is we are going to use at media role so at media screen right here you say max dash width colon and let's say 500 pixels and open to curly braces so this means whenever we reach this 500 pixels or less do something so ignore this style and do something here inside of this media role so i want to change to change the layout to a column all right so let me change the background color here so i'm going to say body just to make sure that my uh, my you see it works if i shrink it so let's go with something dark. So you see, uh, it's 500. I uh, know it's not working. So at media screen and. Uh, oh, and a space. Okay. At media screen and and put a space here. So you see it applies this color as I reach 600 pixels or less. So as I reach 600 pixels or less, it becomes dark. So now let me just get rid of that. Okay, I don't want that body color change, but I want to change the display of the container. So I can say, uh, okay, let me get rid of this body. Okay, so now if we take a look at it, you'll notice that I have a div here with a class called container. So I'm going to say dot container and open two parentheses. Set the display to flex and flex dash direction column. So you see, as I change it to a column, it will become like this. You see, it changes. As I reach that, it becomes a column. So they go down here and they become a column. Then I can say justify content center, align items center. So you see, now we have this nice layout. But you see now, as I as I make it larger, they become next to each other. And if I shrink it, you see at some point, maybe I want to change it and to a column. Because, you know, the images, well, if without this media screen here, without this code, so without this code, let me just get rid of it. You see that they overlap. 
So that's not what we want. Therefore, we use this media container or at media screen and we put max with 600 pixels. We set the container to flex, flex direction column, justify content center and align items center. All right, so, so far so good. I hope that this video was helpful.